Hello, and welcome to St. Lawrence College Career Services, How to Fill the COVID-19 Gap on Your Resume. As we all know, the pandemic has caused great change around the world. For some people, it means they have a lot of extra time. For others, maybe you're busier than normal. Career Services has put together this presentation for those of you who find yourself with some extra time on your hands. This presentation will give you ideas of ways to keep busy, stay productive, and stay focused during this time. Let's get started. We'll start off by doing a quick overview of career services and the resources we have for you. We'll talk about ways that you could fill the COVID-19 gap on your resume, and we'll discuss what you should expect when job searching during this time. And finally, we'll go over the details on how you could contact us for assistance. Career Services staff are currently working remotely, but we are still here to assist you virtually with all of your job search needs. We could hold one-on-one -on -one virtual appointments via email, Teams, telephone, or Zoom. We also have a great mock interview tool called Interview Stream. You can get to this by going onto our website and clicking the link. You can then sign up for free using your SLC student email address. We also host Kingston's Premier Job Board, which again is linked on our webpage. We also have a variety of guides for you on our webpage from resume cover letter, interview, and job fair. If you're searching for a job or planning on searching for a job soon, you'll want to be prepared to be asked the question, what did you do during the pandemic in an interview? You'll want to be able to show the employer that even during this stressful time, you've been able to use your time to your advantage. Think about what you've done over the past few months. Maybe you've been taking care of family, working, doing online classes, maybe taking some courses through LinkedIn Learning, or reading nonfiction books. Or maybe you've been sitting at home watching Netflix or doing other fun things. It's great to get some time in for some self-care, but also try and look into ways that you can continue your learning and show the employer how you've built your skills and knowledge throughout this time. For those of you who find yourself with a lot of free time, let's talk about some ways that you can fill this gap on your resume. Look into some volunteering opportunities in your area. Continue your learning from home, whether that's reading nonfiction books and articles, or doing some online courses, maybe through LinkedIn Learning, which students from SLC have free access to through slc.me. Another thing you could do is write. Write a blog, research paper, or work on another project you've been thinking about. When thinking about continuing your learning, consider the future of work and skills that might be in demand or skills that you want to build. Forbes has given us a list of job skills that will be important after the pandemic. Some of these include adaptability and flexibility. You'll need to be able to adapt to an ever-evolving workplace and be open to updating and refreshing your skills. Continuous learning, as we've discussed. Tech savviness. Creativity and innovation. Critical thinking. Emotional intelligence, which is being aware of, expressing, and managing your emotions and creating space for others to do the same. And finally, data literacy, the ability to understand business trends and how to best serve your customers. If you feel that you want to build any of these skills or others that you've thought of of your own, consider doing some research into some free online courses, books or articles that may help you with this.
It's also important to consider the physical aspects of the future of work. As businesses are starting to reopen, we notice that there are still many employees working from home, and there are safety measures put in place at every business. This means that now more than ever, there will be a virtual recruitment process. Applying online, interviews being held virtually, and even job fairs being held virtually. And when you do get hired on with an employer, there's probably a higher chance that you will work from home, either on a full-time or part-time basis. Knowing this, think to yourself, do you have the skills to be successful in an interview being held virtually? Do you know how to use Teams, Zoom, or other online platforms that these interviews might be held on? Do you have experience working from home? Maybe you don't in an employment experience, but I'm sure you've worked on a project, even with a team virtually because of school, from home. Think about these experiences and how you can discuss them in an interview. Throughout the next few slides, we'll discuss some details about how you can take action on the topics discussed throughout this presentation. First, volunteering. There are many websites that you could browse to find opportunities in your area. Some suggestions are Spark Ontario, CNIB Foundation Ontario East, Victorian Order of Nurses, and there are websites you can find through a quick Google search that list volunteer opportunities in the Kingston, Cornwall, and Brockville areas. Next, continue your learning. This could be through LinkedIn Learning, which as mentioned before, all SLC students have free access to through slc.me. All you have to do is log in and click on the icon that looks similar to the one shown on the right side of your screen. Some good courses you could look through are Office 365 Essentials, Teamwork Foundations, Being an Effective Team Member, Remote Work Foundations, Learning Zoom, Phone-Based Customer Service, and Creating Positive Conversations with Challenging Customers. LinkedIn Learning has over 16,000 courses. Browse through for courses related to your program of study or build your essential employability skills such as communication and teamwork. To learn more about essential skills, take a look at our essential skills presentation on YouTube or re reach out to us with any questions or a direct link. Contact North provides research online study options from publicly funded institutions. Whether you're looking for college, university, high school, literacy, or training programs or courses, take a look at Contact North and what they can offer you. You can find some more information at studyonline.ca. If you would like to spend some time reading, here's some options for you. Keep up to date on current issues using electronic research papers and trusted news sites. Gain an understanding about the history of topics you're interested in. Some resources to do this are the Brockville, Cornwall, and Kingston Public Libraries. Try to choose books that you may not normally gravitate towards. This will give you an opportunity to integrate new ideas and thoughts. And quick tip, Biographies can offer intimate and interesting perspectives. Try to create, revisit, or reinvent your blog. Some free sites include WordPress, Wix, and Blogger. Maybe you could conduct research and work on getting your work published on a blog, website, or newspaper. Or you can do some freelance work on websites such as Upwork. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope that this gave you some great ideas to help fill your time. Remember, we are here to support you virtually with all of your job search needs. 
reach out to us at careerservices at sl.on.ca. And follow us on social media for daily updates, tools, and job opportunities. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram at SLC Career Services and on Twitter at SLC Career. We look forward to hearing from you.